five. I'm just gonna become obsessed with speed for the next like twenty minutes. So you guys can talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> I have no idea where we are on the countryside either. There's just some nice random houses about. Some just what like little towns? Little yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Small towns. A few rows <laughs> of houses here and there for the time being. So villages rather than towns, probably. Stop being. It didn't have a station, so probably a village. Yeah. It says in the back of here, 90 miles per hour restriction. Steam heated, vacuum braked. There we go. Oh, 108. We've reached 108. Yeah. So you can get 110. So we're aiming for 109. Come on, Dwight D. Eisenhower. Let's listen to the whistle whilst we're here. There we go. I've already got that stuck on on the big boy. 110, there we go. 110 <laughs> miles per hour. 115? Mm. Is that pushing it? Yeah. Fireman, we're up to 110 miles per hour. Keep it going. This is up in the top corner. Yeah, we're going to keep... See what we can get. I think my, like, previous best was almost, like, barely 80 on the one that I did it with the basic controls. I was told that mm. I need to, even with the basic controls, I still need to adjust the lever to try and find the optimum speed, which I didn't know when I did the recording. So, thanks to whoever pointed out in the comments. It's greatly appreciated. Yes. Indeed it is. I can see the two little men inside. Well, the two old men. Obviously enjoying their speed test run. <laughs> let's go back and let's go to first person view so we can look inside. They've got their... Okay, my friend vanishes, but that always happens. I've got my shovel for shoveling coal. Oven's blazing. He's got his flask out again. This guy never goes anywhere without his flask. Miles per hour. The gauge in here s stops at 100. The gauge on the inside of the train. There's only the digital one. 115! Excellent. Come on. <laughs> Five more miles per hour, and I'll beat my record previously. Oh, I just realised I'm low on water, so I'm going to have to pump water. I wasn't paying attention to that. Mm -hmm. It got dropped down to 55%, so my pressure's going to drop, but I hope I can maintain the speed whilst the water is pumping. Plus, I'm sure I've dropped like a million red signals without realising. But oh, you yeah, made it's a speed test. Yeah. It did say, go as fast as you can. Exactly, 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 exactly. 116. Pressure's dropping quite radically. Third, 230 PSI, so we're still going to have 117, 117. Master Chief's number in Halo. Not that I'm any kind of <laughs> Halo guy or anything. I have played Halo in ages. Neither have I. Yeah. Like years. Yeah. It peaked at Halo 3 and then the other games have all just been kind of meh-ish. Kind of similar -y. Yeah. And it seems to be pushing the series on the new Xbox One as well. Which yeah. I don't know is the best thing to do. But some guy at Microsoft has decided it has been. It okay. makes money, so... It makes money, but yeah, but meh. Nah. PC's mm, probably better. <laughs> but I still yeah. like having a console. I I understand. Like, consoles are... Like, almost everybody has consoles, whereas PC is not so no. widely sort of it's done. It's obviously getting wider. Like lots of lots more people are getting. No, <laughs> we've dropped. We've dropped 116 no. miles per hour. No. Okay, I'm gonna pull back on the throttle a little bit. And ah. Try and save myself a bit of Flip. steam. Come back. Donna, push the carpet up. Oh well. <laughs> save myself a little bit of steam whilst the waters. We're down to 200 psi, and we're 92% water, so we wanna 
hope that this can fill up quick enough before we drop any more really it serves me right for not paying attention really I don't know what this does, I don't know what blower does but let's have the blower on I don't oh know what the sander does either someone um, someone bought a furnished house and inside it was like a life sized teenage mutant ninja turtle and a life sized stormtrooper sort of model <laughs> And there's a Superman one as well, what? That's one of the weirdest things I've seen or heard. Like, That's weird. Oh, just imagine you just walk in and it's just there. Okay, the water's reached 100% again. So we can turn that off and our pressure's thankfully going up again. 110 miles an hour. And let's put the thing on 20% and we can coast along at this speed. For the time. Hope we get a good overall time. That aims to beat half an hour. But, seeing as I haven't hey. hit the highest speed, I'm not entirely sure. We've still got another It'll 15 miles to go. It'll be close-ish though, won't it? Pardon? Well, it'll be close-ish. Yeah. Yeah, it'll, it comes up with a little window at the end telling you, once you've stopped at Brighton, it'll tell you what you've done. We're now passing through another station that we're going through too fast to read. Yes. I wish, I, wish I could get some more performance out of this. I can't put the brakes up any more than 6% without them engaging. And, okay, we've got a downhill section ahead of us. Let's see if we can pick up a few miles per hour on this one. Why are you breaking? You Sorry, what? I thought I something. Why are you breaking? Oh, I'm not. The, the brakes, if you have them on zero, then they yeah. use a lot of steam to keep them open and yeah. there's a point between the brakes being 100% open and the brakes being say like 90% open and in that thing they don't catch on the wheels if that makes sense there's a little 10% okay. where the brakes are fully off so you want yeah. to get the brakes open enough just so they're not catching on the wheels and that uses the least amount of steam to keep them open does that make sense? Nice. Yes, I think so I think cool. so. So you're saving steam by not having them on at all. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, yeah. need some more water. PSI's going to drop again. I think I did myself quite a bit of damage not paying attention then, so I hope I can recover from it. Oh, the moths are going to come in my room now. Go away. Nobody likes you. Do 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 do. Do. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Okay, there's a brake signal there, but it's not for us. I don't know. We'll be able to view the carriages as we go around this corner. Ah, look at that. Beautiful sight. We actually should go to that rail museum. It's in New York, though, which is quite a long way away. I have no idea where York is. My geography is awful. It's top of England. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm not yeah. sure how much the train would be to get up there. Too much. And how long it would take. <laughs> We'd have to save for a while. We would. We would. Okay, I'm going to put that down. I'm going to risk slowing down a little bit in order to build up the pressure again because. We did mess up the pressure. Uh, when we reach 100%, we can stop pumping water. There we go. We can stop pumping water and try and let the pressure build up as much as we can. I might even slow the throttle down a little bit. Hey, that's a cool bridge. It's like one of those really tall, straight arch bridge bridges. Uh, I don't know why I'm making hand gestures because you can't see. It's tall, straight arch bridges. Okay. You, you'll, you'll see when you watch the video, which you will do. I will. I will, and I do. Yeah. I make sure to at least watch sort of the bits that I remember that were exciting, yeah. or you wanted me to. The whole thing's exciting. Well, no, I, I do. I just leave it open on one screen, and I'm uh, just listening to what we're yeah. saying, and I'm like, okay. Ooh, you've only got nine miles to go. Estimated time, 1906, and it's currently 1855. So, Wait. another 10 minutes. Even though you're going like 100 miles an hour. 
104 at the minute. I didn't reach the 120, which I was aiming for, but I seem yeah. to have kept up quite a high average speed throughout the whole thing. Yeah. We'll see in a bit. Yeah. This red light on my microphone now it's got dark, it's actually quite bright. <laughs> <laughs> You're being blinded. Just a little bit. Yeah, it's not too bad. Mm. If worst comes to worst, I'll put a bit of tape over it, cover it up. Yeah. But um, I hope, I hope, uh, I hope we do sound noticeably better. Yes. I should It'll be do. interesting to see. I'll watch the recording and see how I sound. Yeah. Because the one I used in my headset was, yeah, mm. it was okay. It was. You could hear what you were saying, but yeah. It's nothing, nothing about having that this nice separate mic that's just like... And now I've got a separate ah, mi mic, ah. I can use my even nicer headphones rather than those ones. Yeah, exactly. Exactly why I didn't bother getting a headset, because I already had nice headphones. I was like, I may as well just get a nice mic to go with them yeah, well, rather I've than got... getting a good headset. Yeah. Mm. I've got my Bose ones, which I'm using right now. Nice. And I've just got my big, fat, huge ones. The ones you've had for ages and ages and ages. Yeah, well, I've got one pair I've had for three and a half years, and then I got a new pair of them because they were so good. Mm. Yeah, okay. HD 215s, they're good. Everyone go and buy some. They're like 50 quid, I'm not sure if they make them anymore, but yeah. they're good headphones. I saw them at Curry's not that long ago. All the very similar ones. Uh, I saw a, um, I think it was a keyboardist in a band had um, had them on. Like I saw a picture from a live show and was like, oh, there's my headphones. What's happening? That's my headphones. He's clearly as cool as me. Or something along those lines. Five miles to go. We're up on a, we're an uphill bit now. So hoping we don't slow down too much. Ooh, 107. We're, we're picking up speed even on this uphill bit. So I'm obviously doing something right. It really seems to depend on the train's mood. Whether it's yeah, it pick seems up a bit speed random. Or, yeah. I suppose oh. it's a very complex machine. There's a lots of other smaller factors that need to be taken into account. I guess like wind direction or something. I don't know. Exactly. No idea. Yeah. We're approaching the seaside, so it should be blowing into us and slowing us down, if anything. <laughs> I doubt they mm. would have put in that much thought into the game. Well, they might have done. I mean, they do that stuff in flight simulators, but that's because that's quite... Oh, here we go. When taking water, the scoop should be... Thank you. The scoop should be withdrawn when the water flows from the indicating valve into the funnel. Do you guys get that? Good. We wouldn't no. want we wouldn't want to not have the scoop in the right position over there. 111 miles per hour again. We've we've picked up some speed. Yeah, 120 soon. Mm, we Ish. might have to stop. We've only got two and a half miles, so we might not make it before we need to slam on the brakes and hopefully not crash into Brighton. <laughs> the people who live there probably won't be too happy. No, I mean, it, well, you'd kind of just be running into a hill if you crash in Brighton, though, because it's like halfway up mm. a hill, so... And I'd probably ruin this million pounds worth of steam train, yeah, there so are only six remaining. There would only be five left. I can see, I can see Preston Park. That's where it will take our time. Ah, through this one more tunnel, and then 112 miles per hour. So we've actually got good speed in this last section, which is nice. Yeah. And I think speed. before the corner, before I start recording, I actually got better speed than I did on the one I'm showing you. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm hoping for a sub 30 minute time. We'll see. We'll see. We will see. It says it will be... take an hour, but. No. no. Okay. Silly. Half a mile. I've kind of given up keeping the pressure right because I figured I may as well use it all whilst I can and then sort it out on the last section. Here it is. Here's Preston. 
Wow, that was incredible. Hold on the brakes and let's complete the journey safely to Brighton. So, yeah, we want to drop that down and we... we want to survive. Hey, it's automatically applied the brakes for us. That's kind of it. Aww. Except it's automatically applied the emergency brakes for us. So we're going to have to completely stop before we can continue along again. But that's not too much of an issue. At least we'll be safe. Better safe than sorry. Let's have a look where we are on the map. How much further we've got to go. Oh yeah, I can see it. Center player, here we go. Yeah, we're almost there. We're almost at Brighton. If I zoom out a bit. There we go. Apparently I've got wheel slippage because I'm braking too hard. But that's not my fault. It won't let me brake any less. <laughs> I'm not going to have to start speeding up again. Two miles an hour. Come on, Mr. Trim. Hey, there's one of those moving excavator things again. Being very helpful doing its digging. Half a mile or so to Brighton. So hopefully we can pull up. And sort out our lives. Uh, no. No. Yes, we... We're slowly running out of things to talk about because we've had to do so many videos so quickly. Yes, that's true. Uh, no, I'm getting those little buzzery things that I have to click on otherwise my train will stop. I got distracted by a message I had as well. That's all. I wasn't ignoring you. I know, I know. I, I didn't, I didn't. Brighton Platform 6, there we go. Actually, it's quite cool this area of Brighton. Can we see the sea? We can see the sea! Hello sea, how are you? It didn't say hi back. <laughs> but yeah, in theory, once I've stopped, it should tell me my time. Let's go back into looking out the window view. Let's look out this window so we get a good view of the station. And I'm going to want to apply the brakes. Once the last carriage is safely in, I'll just... There we go, all the carriages are now on the platform and I want to put the brakes on. It's clanging, it's making a weird clanging noise at me. I've got to wait for the red bar to go across. There's three identical women walking towards the train. <laughs> Although no sign of Brenda. No sign of Brenda at the minute. Hang on, nope, she's over on the other platform. And... You completed the time section in 28 minutes and 1 second. Your top speed was 116.89 miles per hour. Press F12 to take a screenshot and share this on the RailSimulator.com Facebook page. I will take a screenshot. There we go. Excellent. I've actually completed a scenario with a relatively good score as well. I know. Good job. Going to so go share it on Rail Simulator's Facebook page? I think you should. I will share my Good. previous score actually, which also, because I got slightly better on that, oh. I think. But yes, I'm glad I actually managed to master driving steam engines, and I hope you've enjoyed watching. And we will see you in the next video shortly. Goodbye. Bye.